welcome love from love, hope from hope, peace from our living peace. Uh, and it's time to be excited and to understand that the flag of love brings forth the message of Sikhism, that we all need three major tenets within our lives. We need to try our best to have an honest living and to meditate upon God and to share with the needy. For every honest living person should meditate upon that which is good and lovely and of good report. And so it is time to rejoice in the word of Nanak, for these are the days of the Son of Righteousness arising as with healing under his wings from the West, as it is foretold by uh, the Hadith. And uh, also Nanak knew well of these prophecies and agreed. And all people that will not embrace this word of Nanak are heretic. They are blasphemers and totally apostate people of love. For it is time to realize that none of us should be ever wishing any evil upon any others. Never speak ill of anyone and do not obstruct anyone's activities. Uh, try to help people instead of hinder it, that is what he taught. This is the religion of faith and love in motion. In all that uh, are just shall live by my faith, as Habakkuk 2 does say. For this vision has been written plainly on the tablets for all those of love to hear. And let all those reading and hearing this read run. For these are the days of love to, to ascend to a new place of understanding during these days of the sun of love arising in the west. And Nanak said, let no one in the world live in delusion without, without a teacher, another uh, guru, someone inspired by love. Nobody can cross over to the other shore. And yet all of us at some point have been inspired by love. Think back to when you were but a little child, when your love in you was still alive, when you loved for no other reason than just for loving. So unto those days must every person return, for this is the great restoration of Acts 3.21. And if it happens not in the earth, then this earth cannot be saved from days exactly as days of Noah, where there would be no birds, no fish, no mankind left at all. Zephaniah 1.1 1, 1. So let's go into the eye of the storm of the power of love and let us be electrified and mesmerized and hypnotized by the awesome wonder that is wondrous as Nanak's God of all mankind comes forth for the brotherhood of man to emerge. So in these days of Elijah, let the wise begin shining as the stars as they never again look through any glass darkly. So imagine there's no heaven, it's easy if you try. No hell below us, above us only sky. Imagine all the people living for today, nothing to kill or die for, and no religion too. Imagine all the people living life in peace. Uh, you may say that Nanak and I, Daniel of Canada, of the North, Isaiah 41's prediction come true manifested. You may say that we are dreamers and that those of Sikhism are dreamers, but we hope that you will someday join us. And we have right here in Windsor, Ontario, a beautiful Sikh temple, and you will be mightily welcome within our midst there. So imagine no possessions. I wonder if you could no need for greed or hunger, a brotherhood of man. Imagine all the people sharing the world and to be free and to live as one. And so in this hour, it has come to pass Christ's prophecy of oneness because he has sent his covenant that now makes all faith 
obsolete on earth, as Hebrews 8 says, because he says to all people, I am your God, you are my people, and I love you, and I will never remember your iniquity. You know what? He has faith. He sees us as we will be. The second we enter glory, we are sinless uh, as the day that we were born, being out of our sinful flesh. So get ready, and it's time to get excited, for prophecy is unfolding mightily. So love from love unto all people from Nanak and all the voices of Sikhism that are crying out, be, let them be not forgotten. For there are two kinds of teachers, the kinds that fills us with, with so much uh, the quality uh, and love that we can't even move. And those are the kind that we need so that we can jump towards the skies and only the good deeds which we have done will remain in our souls this opportunity will not come again so today is the very best day to pay tribute unto our greatest guru our lord god almighty the lord god who is the god of all mankind who is our beloved the blessed and the adored. No, as uh, Nanak says, even kings and emperors with heaps of wealth and vast dominion could never compare even with an ant filled with the love of God. And so it is time to see that everything is about our eternal life and nothing is impossible for him. His arms have never been too short to save as all of mankind becomes as one as we truly are. So know that life needs some power to push us up. And the inspiration of the gurus has every single person had at some point in their life preparing us for our own inner journey. So let no man in the world live in delusion. In order to cross over, we must have the wisdom of elders. And so do not aim low. You will miss the mark. Aim high, and then you will be on a threshold of utter bliss. And it's time to to be like a live roadmap. And if we want to walk in uncharted territory. It's very uh, sensible to walk with a, a direction. And this is the compass of the rising sun of love that was foretold to rise from the west in the Hadith. And those who have loved are those who have found God, said Nanak, because so is it true that all those who love are born of God and know him because he is our love living within each of us. And there's nothing that none of us need to do or know. For our God says, I am your God. You are my people. I have forgiven your iniquity and I shall never remember it. I shall write my law and my love upon your hearts. Beyond that, no sheik shall ever even need to be taught of me. For I am love and all of love shall know me from the least to the greatest who commit not blasphemy of the Holy Spirit to kick Christ out of your heart because I am God love living within you and without me there is no good person not even one as Romans 3 10 says and so in this hour the Lord is saying it's time for us to arise even in these days of uh, Revelation 12's uh, house of beloved she asks and being revealed uh, as the woman of Revelation 12, as Satan has been removed for 1,000 years, as Daniel 12, 1 and Revelation 12 says would happen in the latter days. Imagine a world as it is if you believe the word of inspiration of the guru uh, named uh, Isaiah and Jeremiah and all the rest of the Hebrew prophets. And so now the, the great marvelous light from the east is now being reflected back 
unto the west from the west for in these days this is the hour of our sun of love arising in the west to destroy all gross darkness of all subtle racism uh, bigotry and all, all all that is not born of love and so it is time to realize we all have uh, a very special destiny and it can be carried out by helping hands from each and every one of us there is none more important than another and we are all on an incomparable journey where the spirit of prophecy will lead us from the visible to the invisible from the material to the divine uh, from the imperial to the eternal and so it is time to stand tall and look unto that majesty of majesties he who is our love of always beating in the heart of every single person who has not kicked love out of their heart who still have their heart uh, with unconditional love as a child uh, not willing to be cast out into the outer darkness where there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth so there is no diet deity superior than the spirit of the guru the inspiration of love and there is no state higher than the meditation that that can bring and it is time more than ever to realize uh, that the whole world is now in distress and he who believes in the name of love though will become victorious for that is the name of God from 1 John 4 7 love is the secret name of Christ from Mark 4 and he is the Lord God of all mankind the Lord uh, who is the good shepherd over all the flocks of man uh, as John 10 says and he is the Lord God of the sheiks uh, over all mankind as Jeremiah 32 27 says and so in this hour our mind and our heart filled with the blaze of love can help each of us conquer the world and uh, it's time to remember uh, the truth of the unity of man uh, so let no one live in delusion anymore listen to the hope by Nanak and all others who would come wearing the sandals of peace and so it is time to look unto the irresistible one who is all of our love and so it's time that the world should accept me as elijah um, it is foretold by muhammad that at first i would be like an inglorious stranger to most people of the world but if things are as i attest them truly to be because nanak did not uh, uh know about god he knew god i know god god has called me by my name before the foundation of earth uh, and everything I've done has been in vain. Isaiah 49 4. I'm one whose eyes are red as dull of wine. Genesis 49 12. One transgressed by wine, but the just will live by my faith. Have a cup too. I am the writer, line by line, precept by precept, strong and mighty one. Isaiah 49. The writer, have a cup too, written plainly on the tablet so all those re hearing it read might run. The writer that Moses predicted, one like him, a writer in a kingdom age covenant giver to all mankind for the true god of this world does not exist the god of all mankind is the only god whether people realize it or not and sheikhism will now lead the way by the word of love and so in this hour what do i want out of it nothing i'd like some respect like Rodney Dangerfield, <laughs> I get no respect. No one ever even says hello to me. It's such an unkind, unloving world. But if we will look up to the land, my light is up, is now work. Uh, if we will look up to the land, he has blessings, glory uh, for us all. If we will go to the temple 
of the Holy Spirit which resides within our heart if we will but let it be a flame. Uh, let love light your wick. Be a trailblazer. Go to your nearest uh, temple and pray for love to consume you as a, a moth to the flame. And so I don't want to be an emperor. I don't want no one to worship me. I'm just the, the one the end time revelator to tell the world that the very moment when Abraham lifted the knife over uh, his son Isaac, it, it committed Emmanuel into coming the first time into this world. Otherwise, it only would have proved that man had the capability to love God more than God had the capability to love man. And so I don't want to be an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer over anyone. Uh, this is the words of uh, Charlie Chaplin. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't want to be an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I don't want, uh, I, I'd like to help everyone, Jew and, and Gentile, Christian and atheist. Uh, I want to help everybody, all the brothers of other mothers, all the sisters also. If it's possible, I don't give a damn what they are, whether they're Jew, Gentile, black, white, green, for all I care. They can have polka dots, and I want to help them. Uh, I, and we all need to start helping one another. Uh, human beings are like that. Deep down, we really do. Uh, there's videos out there, uh, one-minute videos, two-minute videos of people being kind. It goes millions of... Uh, People love seeing something about kindness and love, but yet they're afraid to talk about it. It's got to be hidden. And surely no one wants to accept that uh, the God of this world uh, is not even in this world. Christians don't have the God of all mankind. They don't have the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. They got a respecter of man. God loves the best. And they got a God with conditional love that doesn't even exist. So it's time for that plug to be pulled. They are the shattering of the power of the holy people. Judgment starts in the house of God. And so I don't want to be an emperor. That's not my business. I'm starting from the beginning. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I just want to help everyone. Uh, and to help us to be able to like ourselves enough that we can love each other. If we cannot love uh, each other whom we can see, we can't love a God that we cannot. It's impossible. And so we want to live by each other's happiness deep down, not by each other's misery. And so it's time that we relent and change as I lower my music a little bit. I love that music. But one thing is for sure, it's time to change. And it's time to beat our sword into sickles to learn the ways of war no more. And we don't really, deep down, we don't want to uh, uh, hate or despise anyone. In this world, there actually is room for everyone. And the good earth is rich and can, can provide for everyone. The way of life can be free and beautiful. But we have lost the way as we've been letting our love wax cold, as Christ said would happen. Greed and unloving ways have poison men's souls the toxicity of uh, the food that re re modern religions are feeding uh, their tables are full of vomit the bible says but uh, it's time that the world has been barricaded by hate uh, and uh, this this has not only pushed us into a corner where all of us are threatened. It's goose-stepped us into misery and into bloodshed overflowing. We have developed speed, but we've shut ourselves in. It's time to receive the mark of the Lamb, 777, that will spare all people from the misery of the 666. This is metaphor, people. And the mark of the Lamb is in the Bible, Revelation 9-4. 
and this was to be a latter day happening by the hands of he who is Elijah, who has released the curse of Malachi 2, the curse of Zechariah 3, 4, and 5. For all the religious not wanting love, they will get a diarrhea shit dung crap pie in the eye. It'll be like chocolate syrup going down their throats for people that are spiritual vipers. God wants to remove the spiritual uh, religiosity of unloving religiosity and give us loving spirituality instead. So we've developed speed, but we really have shut ourselves into a box. We put ourselves into a box and God himself into a box. And uh, machinery that gives us abundance has now more than ever left us in want. Uh, making room for uh, machines and not for people. Replacing us with machines that we have made to help us is hurting many. Our knowledge has made us more cynical. Our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much, feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. We need Sikhism for all. Because God is in all and all is in God, whether we believe it or not. Truth is truth. And there is only one truth undivided. And you cannot have two opposite truths be truth. God has never been an angry, wrathful uh, hater of mankind as a uh, uh religion has taught uh, of Dante's inferno and the craziness of hell released upon earth. And so more than cleverness, we all need kindness and gentleness. Without those qualities, life would be violent and all would be lost. The airplane and the radio have brought us all much closer together. And the very nature of these in in inventions cries out for the goodness uh, in men to arise. It cries out for the everlasting universal brotherhood of man that Nanak foretold, that John Lennon foretold, that Christ foretold in the Garden of Gethsemane in John 17. And it is time for the brotherhood to arise for the unity of all of us. And even now, my voice is reaching in the spirit millions and billions of people throughout the world. Uh, and the millions of despairing men and women and little children, they're victims of a system that makes people torture and imprison innocent people. Uh, and so to all those that can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men like putrid Putin, who has cut the earth, a brand new sphincter, uh, asshole of the earth, is causing people to receive fear uh, instead of human progress. Uh, so praise he who is loved, that the hate of men will not pass. Will, that will pass. It seems like sometimes love is losing, but love wins. Love always wins and it shall yet win. And when it does, then the Lord only then can cut these days short so all flesh will not perish. So dictators die like Putin and he's gonna have a hard one. And I mean that literally. And the power that such assholes take from people will return to the people. And so as long as people die, liberty will never perish. All people will be free. Even the captives shall be set free. Soldiers, don't give yourself to brutes. Uh, the men who despise you, enslave you, and regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel, who drill you, diet you, treat you like cattle, treat you like cannon fodder. Uh, don't give yourself to these kind of unnatural men. Uh, they are nothing but machine men with machine minds and machine hearts. We are not machines! We are not cattle, we are men. Let us all be spiritual sheiks, uh, seeing that God is in all of us, and all of us can be in God, and everything is in God. God is in all. 
And so then we won't hate anymore. Only the unloved hate. So it's time to start loving all people. And then the unloved and the natural, all soldiers, don't fight for slavery. Fight for liberty. Fight for the side of love. In the 17th chapter of Luke, it is written, the kingdom of God is within man. Not one man, not a group of men, but in all men. In the sheikhs, in the Muslims, Muslims and the Christians and the Islamists, all people of love that's moving as a child, as a verb, alive, thriving, instead of just surviving. So we have the power to create machines. We have the power to create happiness. And we aren't doing our jobs. You, the people, have the power to make this life free and beautiful, to make this life a wonderful adventure. Then, in the name of democracy, let us all use that power. Let us all unite Sikh and Hindu and Buddhist side by side, uh, Christian and atheist and uh, uh, Muhammad haters and Muhammad lovers because no one has to hate anybody. All the David Wood Act 17s can take a snooze for a while so let us fight for a brand new world a kingdom age world the world the golden age that was to come when christ the lord reveals that he is the sower of the seed of love who has overtaken all reapers and so it'll be a decent world if we fight for it a decent world that'll give everyone even a chance to work. It'll give youth a future and an old age security. By the promise of all these things, brutes have risen to power, but they have lied. People like Putin, they lie. They don't fulfill their promise. They never will. Dictators free themselves, but they enslave the people and kill their own. They have no hearts. They are machine people with machine brains, with machine, they shit, uh, nuts and bolts for breakfast and now let us fight to fulfill all the promises of love let us fight to free our world to do away with all national barriers to do away with greed aid and intolerance uh, and it's time to let us fight for a world of reason a world where science and progress will lead to absolutely all of our happiness soldiers in the name of love let us unite in the name of benevolence in the name of the magnificence of his beneficence he is the beloved the blessed the adored in the name of our majesty of majesties let us all bow down to the secret name of christ of one accord all people for the secret name of Christ to which every knee will bow, every tongue will bow or confess is the name of love for all those who love are born of him and know him because he is love. Love exposed as a brilliant light in the not so far distance as the new Jerusalem comes closer and closer to us. And so before I go, I've never ever in my life made a long video like this, and I probably never will again. But before I go, I'm gonna part you with one last thought. The people of earth will be saved and kept from the hour of the temptation, according to the Bible in Revelation 11. Uh, and that is for the uh, word of patience that we So love from love, hope from hope, peace from peace, and embrace love today, even the love of the kingdom age new covenant given in the latter days, just as it is written for Israel in Jeremiah 31 1 and all mankind in Jeremiah 32 27 for the Lord is the Lord God of all sheiks and all people who are not and all people uh, it doesn't matter what you believe there are no sheiks there are no Jews there are no Christians there are only just people who love and people who do not there are people who are as angels and people who are demon wannabes. It is time that no more can the wheat and the tares 
grow together. So come